without further ado, I would like to welcome our own amazing Marion Namazi to the stage. <laughs> International Atheist Day. What a great day it is. Uh, we remember very clearly those of us who are part of ex-Muslim groups. In 2017, in this very building, we had the largest gathering of ex-Muslims in recent history, well in all history. And uh, it was there after the conference that we had a strategy meeting of various ex-Muslim organizations across the globe and we decided that we want to have an International Atheist Day and that we want to have a day where people can come out and say, yes, we are atheists without being ashamed, without having to hide and without having to be fearful, to normalize it in such a way. And of course, there are people who keep asking, well, why do you need an Atheist Day? They always have that problem, don't they? Why do you have a Women's Day? Why do you have Atheist Day? And why not? Why not? There's enough days for misogyny, and superstition, and self-flagellation, and starving yourself uh, during uh, God knows what months, God knows what months. <laughs> you should just be careful, just in case. <laughs> so, so why not? It's an important day. Uh, it's a day for celebration. We want people to feel comfortable to be atheists, to say that they're atheists. Uh, and, uh, Already from the morning, uh, Atheist Day has been trending on Twitter. So it is a global phenomenon. There are lots of people speaking out. And of course, we have that responsibility, especially because there are so many across the globe that are in hiding, including also in Europe, but that are dying, that are literally dying because they are atheists. We are here to remind the world that religion and religious beliefs, of course, is a right. People have a right to believe in any nonsense that they want, and that's part of their human rights. But freedom of conscience, a freedom of expression, includes the right to be free from religion, includes the right to mock religion, to dislike religion, and to criticize it and poke at it in any which way we can. So today we're focusing on ex-Muslim women because women in particular are very often hidden, especially uh, amongst dissidents within minority communities. And also uh, because many of our great activists, despite that, are actually women. And we wanted to have an opportunity to bring everyone together. So enjoy yourself. There's going to be great discussions, dancing. We want to see your moves. And if they're not good, then we'll give you some lessons. Okay. Uh, so, thank you for coming. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope you really have a wonderful evening tonight. Thank you. Thank you.